The tree trunks on that guy. Catch you guys later. What's up? Huh? You keep staring. What's up? Oh, that's just... That's... Hey, it's a good question. Man, what? Are those real or are they implants? What? They calves, bro. What, are you joking? Okay. Keep it to yourself. But if you tell me the real, I ain't buying it. Right guys, so I finished work for the day now, so I'm just gonna go straight to the gym. Um, luckily it's on my walk home, so it makes life pretty convenient. Um, so I'm gonna hit legs. So I hit legs on, um, I think it was Saturday. And again, I'm gonna hit legs again today on Tuesday. So I try and hit it twice a week, every single week. Um, just purely because for me, it's a, it's a weak body part. So it's something I like to hit just a little bit more uh, regularly. So I'm probably genetically, I'm more um, predisposition to build on top, but less so um, on the lower half, especially my calves. So I think for, you know, most gym bros, you know, we all uh, can uh, sympathize with the plight of the skinny calf man. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Gonna get in, do squats, heavy, heavy squats probably for uh, triples and um, reps of four. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So do deadlifts, calf raises, um, but I'll pick it up with you guys in the gym. So guys, as you can see, the gym is busy. Now this is the difference between getting out of work at five and getting out of work at six. Like, if you get out of work at five, you know, you can get straight in, you can work whatever you want, and it's not an issue. I've come in, try to hit, you know, I want to go start off by um, squatting, Second to that, I want to do deadlifts. Can't do either. There's no spare um, barbells anywhere, no spare squat racks. So I'm just going to kind of have to wait a minute now. So, slightly annoying, but I just went to go and fill up my water bottle. So, I've just had a sip and I've realised how thirsty I am. I've had one of those days at work where I was so busy, I've basically just not drunk anything all day. I've literally just downed a litre of water. And, guys, water is the, probably the most important thing in your diet. I mean, like, you know, especially even if, like, as a bodybuilder, yeah, when you're getting show ready, you know, you want to be dry, crisp, hard, so you, you know, you might not drink anything for a couple of days beforehand, which is ludicrous, which is probably why I suggest no one ever does a show, because it's not good for you whatsoever. But your muscles are basically made up of like 70-75% water, I think, don't quote me on that, but it's somewhere around that. So, um, yeah, water is so important, so, you know, no matter how busy your day is, just try and make sure, don't follow my example, try and make sure you drink enough fluid. So, alright, I'm just going to wait around now and see if I can get on the squat rack sometime soon. I finally managed to get a barbell, so I'm going to kick off with um, just deadlifts. Um, so I couldn't find a squat rack, unfortunately. So we've got 170 on the bar. I want to hit this for, I'm hoping about five, six reps, something like that. Should be fine. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit a sumo squat, a sumo squat, sumo deadlift. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of a tip. So pointing your feet, you can see here, see my feet. Don't point straight forward. When you're doing sumo, you can see here, Put your feet just slightly outwards. Nice wide base. My focus here is really just to um, try and put, when I'm to start movement, I want to really focus on trying to work my back more because in a previous video I discussed the fact that I feel like my back isn't as strong as my legs are. My legs will shoot and then my back just hasn't moved anywhere. And then all the pressure's through my back to then try and move the weight. So I just want to focus on trying to drive my hips forward and use my glutes as much as possible. So see how it goes. The spare squat rack. Look at that. Every time you get yourself set up with something that you don't really want to do, and you're nicely set up, what you do want to do becomes available. The law of sword. Right guys, so we're finally on to squats. You probably saw me just a minute ago when I was deadlifted. I had no shoes on. So that's really just to give me as flat a base as possible because you know, if I'm not lifting in something like my Nikes or like Converse or something that's just really, really flat, if you're wearing something like an Air Max like I've got on at the moment, then to be honest, your base just isn't that stable and it's going to 
potentially take away some of the stability. So I like to take my shoes off um, when I'm squatting and I'm deadlifting. So I'm just going to start off now. I've just got 60 kilos on the bar, really just warming up. We're going to build that up to probably up to 120, maybe 130. Um, my max is one rep, it's like 140, 150 I think actually I hit the other day, didn't I? So 150, um, but I'm not trying to hit anything close to that today. I'm um, just going to go 120, try and keep up a few more reps, three or four reps. I'm hoping on 120 I'll be able to hit six, that's what I'm aiming for. Not feeling all that strong today, probably haven't eaten enough. En energy levels aren't quite there, but we'll give it a go anyway. a little stretch from talking to you now. Um, just, you, know, you know when you have one of those days and you just feel like the strength isn't there? <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. I just don't think, to be honest, I don't think I've had enough carbs. You know, I'm on a bit of a, a cut at the minute. I'm trying to shred down a little bit for the summer. I'm going on holiday in July, so I just want to look my absolute best for that. Um, but I feel like maybe I've just taken my carbs just a little bit too low today because I just don't feel like my strength's there. Or actually probably yesterday, so the impact of that I'll feel today. So, um, yeah, it's one of those things, you know, I've just been deadlifting anyway, so my squat's not going to be quite as strong after I've just been deadlifting, but it's a little bit disappointing, so I'm just trying to really sort of stretch out my muscles, I'm feeling really tight, it's a bit lethargic, so um, it's one of those days today, but let's just get it done. Sets of squats done, six sets of deadlifts, I'm moving on to lunges now, and I hate this exercise, it burns, but like exercises you hate are generally the ones that do the most good, so... I'm going to start on my left leg, because my left leg's very slightly probably weaker than my right. Um, I just want to make sure that on my right I'm matching the number of reps I get out of my left. So I don't want to start on my right, smash out loads of reps, and then I can't move my left leg, you know, to even half that number. So I want to keep myself nice and aesthetic, keep myself nice and balanced, uh, and not look too much like Nadal, and have one massive arm on one very skinny arm. So what I'm going to do is have 20 kilos on each side, so I'm going fairly heavy really for me on this. Um, so I'm aiming probably for about six reps on both. Uh, let's see how it goes. Last exercise guys, sitting calf raises. Let's destroy the calves, make them grow. I'm gonna force them to fucking grow. <laughs> um, right, so, what I wanna make sure I'm doing here is just, uh, God, that last exercise literally has destroyed my quads. I don't do it very often. I can tell why, fuck, it hurts. It really hurts, but anyway, last exercise. So again, I just wanna focus on that mind muscle connection. Make sure I'm always concentrating more on my left side than my right. I feel like my uh, left calf is just slightly smaller than my right. So I really want to just focus on that left calf and make sure that um, I'm contracting as much with my left as I am with my right. Generally I like to do it on the uh, leg press machine, calf raises, just purely because I can do one leg at a time and make sure I hit the same number of reps on both legs. So I feel like I can get an equal benefits on both sides. But in any case, we use sitting calf raises machine today. Let's get this finished.
So I'm at the gym, walking back home now. Um, so there's six, six sets, calf raises, and uh, now my legs, I'm walking like John Wayne. Um, my legs are kind of feeling a bit wobbly, but um, yeah, only a 15 minute walk home, should be fine. Just try not to get run over on the way there, on the way back. But anyway, what we noticed in that workout, I was, I was wearing a, um, a hoodie and um, my super tight uh, Lycra pants. So the reason for that is, I think it was Arul Schwarzenegger who said, um, you know, what you gotta do is highlight the areas of your body that you're not proud of and cover up the areas that you are proud of. And that for me is very, very true. It makes you focus in a lot, lot more. You know, you see too many gym bros, like, yeah, I'm gonna put it on 120, like half rep it, and then, uh, you know, rep it for like three times and, uh, you know, jump up and flex my biceps around, like, yeah. And my boys are just gonna be like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. Look, so shredded, even we would call you shredded, bro. It's like, no. <laughs> no, get in, do your business. You know, um, you have good form, work out properly, and you'll see the results. Um, and that's what, what I want. You know, for me, it's like it's not about showing off how, in what great shape you are in the gym. That's you know, if you want to do that, you do that afterwards. But in the gym, it's for me, it's about being in that mindset and really sort of grinding out a really good session. So, yeah, my strength wasn't really better there today. Um, but to be honest, you have sessions like that, and. At least I've got through it and um, yeah, go home, chill out for the evening, edit the video, watch a good film and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate your views guys, uh, it means a lot. Thank you.